Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are currently up against Connor McDusty and the Ottawa Senators. That sounds so weird, but that's who we're up against here in the Be A Pro in the Stanley Cup Finals. And on top of that, it is currently 2-2. We have a best of three to win the ultimate prize. Meaning, in this video today, we're gonna find out if we win the Stanley Cup or if we go home empty-handed. Really hope it's not the latter. Let's have a quick look at our lines here. See what's going on. And once again, I'm going straight to scratch to say, what are we doing? What's going on here? Can somebody please put Bradley in the lineup? Our first line is Laffy Taffy playing with Borgo and Marner. And then we've got Kane Holloway and Yams everywhere. Great second line. First line solid. Our third line is incredible. We got Pool Party, 87 overall playing with Nuge, 84, and then Ratcliffe, who I think has been doing quite good. He's also six foot six, so man's an absolute menu. Hyman, Coleman, and Bach make up our fourth line. Defensively, we've got Travis playing with Brett. It's a good first pair. Darney, I feel like he got demoted. Wasn't he first pair last time? Maybe not. He could have been on the second pair, and I'm just not remembering. Whatever, anyway, he's playing with Timothy, and then we've got Zadorov and Michael Matheson. TJ, the starting goalie, and really, honestly, the only goalie on this team. Sorry, Tommy, but uh, you're just not ready yet, kid. And you know what? Because of the situation that we're in, I've already recorded Be a Pro 32, I believe, where I asked, you know, if you guys would prefer the full game format or the third period format. Because it is the Stanley Cup Finals, we have three games remaining. I am going to make a judgment call and play the full game. I don't want the simulation engine doing something wacky. I'd rather just play the full game and that way, you know, it's 0-0, clean slate to start. And that is how we will play maybe the final three. There could only be two games though. I guess we're going to find out. I'm still not totally sure if we're going to do another season or not. That is TBD. But apparently the goalie mask thing has finally been fixed. Has it? It has team mask. There we go. All right, NHL, give me the Edmonton Oilers. Why? I feel like they're on the screen. There they are. Which mask should we rock? Hmm. They're both nice. I think this one's vetoed for sure. We could go with this one, but I'm simply not going to do that. I think... I think I like this one the most. Uh... Now we're going with this one. There you have it. We have an Oilers mask finally. So without further ado, let's jump in to the first game here and see if the Edmonton Oilers can take the series lead in the best of three or whether we're going to go down and have to win two straight. I feel like I'm feeling kind of good today too, you know. I think I'm going to be on point. So normally that means I'm going to let in every single shot. The times where I feel sort of out of it, and like, I'm not going to play well. Usually I don't let in a goal. They are laying the body already. Was that McDavid too? He really wants this cup. So you're getting physical. All right, I see you. Don't make me beat your goalie up. Because I will do it. Good back check. Marnsey's got it. Headman's it to Xavier. Couple one touch deeks. You fooled them. McDavid's got it on the board. Sandheim pins him. And now Kachuk goes to pass it in the middle to ADB. Gets a shot off. That will be saved. Along the boards again. Pass in front is blocked. Goes back to Brandstrom. Walks in the middle. Point shot. Gloved. And I am going to get the whistle, obviously. That's what I was going to do the whole time. That was my plan. Right now, we are unfortunately getting outplayed quite drastically. But looking for anything to get a momentum shift here. It'd be huge. This might be it. Let's go, Kane. Ooh, he thought he could make it by, and he was wrong -o. Absolutely got stapled into the boards. And now Norris has it. He's also going to get crunched. Drake goes for a shot. Doesn't really get it off, though. Because both defensemen stepped right up. Batherson has it again. Oh, what a save! Oh, my word. The blocker. That was huge. I thought it was a goal. Drake's back at it again. What a play by Timothy. All right, I got to say, we have done a great job of shifting that momentum back in our favor. So things are looking good right now in this first period. No goals yet. But I like the pressure that we've been putting up. Puck goes behind the net. Marnsey has it. It's getting tag teamed back there. And Shabbat will ultimately end up with the puck. Passes it to Brandstrom. Who almost has it poked off of him. But the Sens do manage to get it out of their zone. Come on, Timothy. Great pass. Laffy Taffy gains the zone. 
And doesn't really do much with it. I appreciate the effort, though. We're going to be shorthanded. And <laughs> Shabbat's getting beat up over there. Not only did he get slashed, but then he got rocked right after. This is huge. Two minutes on the man advantage. And Holloway takes it away when they had a threatening chance right there in the slot. Beautiful defense so far from your Edmonton Oilers. Jimmy Superstar now gets stepped up on. Unfortunately, McDavid still manages to get it, though. What's he going to do? Nothing, really. That was terrible. Glove save. Oh, my word! What have I just done? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Okay, I think I have to, you know, really register in my head that we are two wins away from the Stanley Cup. So I can't be doing dumb stuff like that. <laughs> Gotta smarten up here. Four seconds remaining. We might get one final shot. Coleman! Ooh, nice try. So the penalty is pretty much killed. There's still a little bit of time left, but we've done a great job. Shabbat getting leveled. Let's go, Holloway. Start off the second period with a bang. We almost did. Pass in the middle, but a big fan on that shot. Jimmy Superstar's back. Ooh, what a hit. The physicality so far in this game is off the charts, and I'm absolutely here for it. No way. I think Marner just got rocked. Hopefully he's okay. It led to a great chance, though. But whoever's in net for them, I forget who it is. Made a great save. Sandheim down to Laffy. What are you doing, Brett? What is that? You had a prime chance to walk in and let one go in the slot, and instead you try to get fancy with it? Who is paying this guy off? Nice shot. I mean, well, not really. I like the pass more than the shot itself. But it was still a great chance. And then Swayman, that's who it is, makes another stop. So the goalie so far in this one, stealing the show. Come on, guys. We got to show everyone that we can win a Stanley Cup without McDavid. We don't need him. Is that out of play? It sure is. The passing has been off the charts this game. There you go. That was safe. That was, you know, a little bit risky, actually. I take it back. But it's safer than a lot of the other plays I've been making. So that's an improvement. At least... Travis, that would have been like a party foul if you got that. Look at the movement of the puck right now. That was a lucky save. He had no idea where that thing was. There's another big save. Throw it over to you. Hatcher Kane goes right back in the middle in front of the net to Sandheim. But whatever, it worked out. We're making some risky plays here. And so far it has not cost us. ADB goes behind the net. Tries for a pass in front. But the whole setup was a failure, thankfully. We might get one final chance here. No, we do not. It looks like we are headed to the third period with a 0-0 hockey game on our hands. We got to start getting some more pressure in shots because right now we are being dominated in the shots category. Although I feel like we've had, you know, some good setups in their zone and got some time on attack going. We haven't really had a quality scoring chance other than Travis... This guy right here. See if he does it again. He does not. No way he keeps that in. Big save with the glove. Couldn't quite catch it, but it doesn't matter. Stopped it from going in. That's all that's important right now. No way. No way. Not like this. What a save yet again. McDavid up close opportunity. And TJ meets the challenge. We can't get anything going there. Shutting us down so intensely right now. And it feels like they are able to do whatever they want. I tried to slide. I really did. And it's just, I don't know. Not like this. Don't do me dirty like this. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I to do? What am I to do? The puck is plinkoing around like nobody's business. We got to win two in a row. We have to now. Oh, my word. This is getting out of control. 3-0 for the Ottawa Senators. That happened quick. Oh, I feel so deflated right now. It was 0-0 coming into this third period. And now all of a sudden, it's 3-0 for the bad guys. Can I at least get some team play going here? Yeah, over that way. Darnell, we can't even make a breakout pass right now. We're falling apart. This has not been our game. To be fair, thinking about it, it was only a matter of time. Like, we were just floating. In the first and second, basically surviving. And in the third, 
They finally became too much for us. What an absolute tragedy. They're just putting salt on the wound here too. We really gotta get out of here and get this game out of our heads. Can we at least get a buzzer beater so Swayman doesn't have the shutout confidence? Ah, uh, no we cannot. All right, well, one loss and we're done now. The shots were 16 to six. Just goes to show the absolute domination that happened at the hands of the Ottawa Senators. Not good. I can't help but think that if I saved that first one, it would have been totally different. But you know what? Whatever. We're gonna let bygones be bygones. We're not gonna dwell on the past. We have two wins in our way of the Stanley Cup. Let's go. Hello? Do I get a little montage here? What is going on? Actually, I remember this. <laughs> I remember this from last year's Be A Pro. Why does he look so disproportionate? Is that even a word? It is now. All right, well, you know what? Let's get fired up. I like it. TJ, we got to get out there and we got to do something magical. We're back in Edmonton. We got the home ice and we need, need a win here. You know, I've said we need a win before, but it doesn't carry as much weight as this one because if we lose here, it's done. ADB back on the attack again. This guy's relentless. Absolutely ripping everything he can on net and another penalty. What are we doing, guys? Let's go, Holloway. Short-handed. That would be the ultimate. No! I thought we were actually going to get one there. What a play, though. Short-handed. This guy wants to win for sure. Finally, we're seeing somebody that's putting in a little effort. Yes. That was terrifying. Somehow managed to save it with the glove, though. Darnell, let's go! Yeah, there's only 10 seconds left, so we are going to be on the man advantage. How the turntables, baby. Nice pass. Xavier is in. He somehow still managed to get that shot off. That was incredible. Guys, we're playing well right now. This is way better than last game. The boys are finally playing like something's on the line here, and something is on the line. The Stanley Cup. The reason we play for is on the line, so... Maybe. That finally kicked in. I don't know why I skated so far past the net there. Lavi, What a save! Somebody has got to charge the net. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What a save again! How many chances can we get? Point shot. This can't be happening. Blocker save. Can't pick it up. Gonna go and drop just in case. Yeah, nice try with that goal line angle bullcrap. I don't think so. Coleman goes in to help out the D-man. What are you doing, Yams? Okay, you know what? It worked. Not because of you, though. Because of Laffy. Got our fourth line out there. Let's go, Bach. Nice. Like the battle. How, how are they out there against ADB? I don't approve of this. Come on. Do it. No, so close. Right on the doorstep. And another big save from Jeremy. Blake goes in the middle. Dominic lets one sing. That's going to be blockered away. And it looks like the Senators might get one final chance here. Maybe not, though. Might be able to hold them. Oh, they're getting a chance. They are getting a chance. Ooh. <laughs> are they ever getting a chance? ADB has it again. Kick it aside. Still have it, though. McDavid goes over to Kachuk. He's going to shoot now. No. Mm -mm. No chance. I'm letting go of that thing. Here's Connor. That will be kicked aside as well. A lot of low shots from them in this game. It didn't even let me move there. That would have been horrible. If that went in the net, I'm not sure this controller would have lived to tell the tale. Let's go 3-4. Never mind. Jimmy Superstar. Goaded on the sticks, apparently. Makes a breakout pass as well over to Norris, who gets stapled. Love it. Sandheim has it. Goes to Xavier. Clean breakout. I like it. And now Marnsey's got it. Goes for a one-touch deke, and he fails miserably. We are approaching the halfway point of this game. We've had so many good chances so far. And Jeremy has just risen to the occasion. Shut us down. But I feel a goal coming soon. It's going to happen. Holloway has it. Nice. I like the battle. Let's go. Stay on top of it. And there it is. Hattrick Kane, baby. On the doorstep. 
Puts the Edmonton Oilers up by one. And that is a much needed goal. Man, that second line's been phenomenal. No, not like this. Great poke check, Holloway. Should have never doubted you. Here goes Kane again. He's hungry for more. Brett Pesci gains the zone, but there is five Senators within three inches of each other. Nice. Let's go, Kane. All right. It's okay. Still got the one goal lead. But here comes McDavid, and he probably has something to say about that. Against his former team, the Edmonton Oilers. There's no way he wants to go to a Game 7. He wants to close this out here and now. Let's go, Zaves. Nice. Oh, good shot. I respect it. So hard. Lafreniere. Goes to Marnsey. To the point. The passing is so good. We still got it. Xavier's got it. Back to the point now. Timothy. Walks in. Timothy. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Still got another chance. In front. The pressure is off the charts right now. Save that. And we have a one goal lead heading into the third period. If it wasn't for Swayman right now, this would be a 5-0 game. Come on, Xavier. I like it. Tries to go in the middle. Fair enough. They really clogged it up, though. And now they're coming back the other way. Kachuk gets pinned against the boards. Let's get in there and help him. Nice. Here we go, Twos. Has it behind the net. In the middle! What a save again by Jeremy. The third period is where the Sens turned it up last time. And absolutely demolished me. So I'm really, really hoping that we can prevent that from happening again. And so far, once again, it just seems like we're playing a lot better. Which is great. What, what's this? What's going on here? I'm just gonna... Let's regroup, alright? Ooh. Didn't see it at all, but still managed to save it. Now the Oilers are breaking out once more here. Laffy in the middle to Marnsey. He manages to make the deke work. Back to Laff- Oh my word, what a save again by Swayman. This guy has been an absolute all-star in this series. Recording this video today was a bad idea. I woke up and my voice was already kind of iffy. It's going to be gone after this one. Oh, no. What is going on? Guys, get the puck out immediately. Get the puck out immediately. We got to get this pressure off. D don't do anything. Don't play with it. Send it down the ice, please. What are we doing? Okay, thank you. That was genuinely terrifying. Like, my heart is beating right now. Approaching the two-minute warning. The one-goal lead is still intact. But I would be very grateful if the boys could make that a two-goal lead. A minute ten to go. Sends in on the attack. In the slot. Where is it? Thank you. Clogged it up. And Timothy sends it up to Xavier. They haven't pulled their goalie yet. I imagine they're going to very soon, though. Sends back with it. Nice! Don't even let them enter the zone. Take it away from them in the neutral. Net is empty. Oh no. Great play. Let's go, Darnell. You absolute legend. Laffy Taffy gets pinned against the boards there. Still manages to get it back, though. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. We just need to not allow a shorthanded goal for the next 25 seconds. That seems pretty doable to me. Yo, don't you dare. Don't you dare. No. Nope. I'm taking the draw all day. We kind of won it. Oh no. McDavid gets a shot off. Don't you even think about it. Passing it out. That's going to do it. Lovely. All right. We got ourselves a game seven. I am so scared right now. Actually, I mean, uh, <clears throat> do I look nervous? Between the pipes in this Stanley Cup Thank you, James. Finals, the rookie looking like anything but in this one delivering yeah. huge save after huge save. And they're moving on to live to fight another day. What sure a are. This is starting to turn into as they've got some life, they've got some energy, and it comes courtesy of the rookie goaltender, the freshman. Man, he looks like welcome. a 10-year vet out there and ready to win. <laughs> love the effort, love the performance. Uh, well, we're going to check in on the text line the here. The rookie. In and really handing out the bouquets for this young keeper because <laughs> he deserves every single one. Conversation. With the reporter, what's going on here? You know, oh, game seven for the Stanley Cup. Yeah, I'm aware, all right? I am well aware. Some players go their whole career without this opportunity. How does it feel to be one game away from winning it all? Ah, oh, it's all right. <laughs> Imagine. I can't charm my way out of this one, so I'm going to have to make a promise, which at this point does not mean anything. All it is is an inconvenience. 
That's it. All right, we get another dramatic sequence here. I'm going to need halls galore after this because my voice is already very upset with me. And I know that this game is going to be the most intense of them all. If we win, we're Stanley Cup champions. If we lose, we're going home empty-handed. And I do not want that. So let's go here. We got to come out like we did last game. Start flying. And let's take home the Stanley Cup. Start off early with one. Let's go. The pressure is already incredible. I love the way we're playing. We're about a buck 30 into this one. It does also seem like the Sens are playing quite well. So both on top of our games right now, which is to be expected. Pesci, download a board, go. Let's one rip up high and Swayman's got that in the glove. It's been a action-packed, high-paced game so far. What a save by Jeremy. He was in Ovi's office there. Let a clappy go, but he's not Ovi, so... It's not guaranteed to go in. Once again, we are taking a penalty. Why? Like, get a grip, guys. Oh, no. No idea what happened there. Absolutely no clue. And you know what? I'm fine with not knowing. If we let McDavid beat us here, this is going to be the ultimate slap in the face. But it, it goes both ways. If we beat him here, it is also an incredibly large slap in the face. Because he was a big part of this team for so long and couldn't quite get there. And yet here we are battling against him and his new team for the Stanley. Oh no. ADB, what a save! Get out of my face! Yeah? Again with this guy. Let's get a draw in here. Get some pressure going. Or not. Not gonna lie, Zaves. You're not incredible on the dot. I'll, I'll fight him. Why does it not let me fight ever? I'll fight a player. I don't care. Just missed the net. Kyler Yamamoto. And we almost had a sick pass back door there as well. But the poke check from Swayman rejected that opportunity. Another chance. Who was that? Marner? Did he just get rocked? Like at one final shot here. We do. Like that didn't have to be that dramatic, TJ. It really didn't. Let's go laughs. Pass in the middle. Doesn't work out, but it finds its way to Sandheim. Nice try on the wraparound there. But I don't think you're beating Swayman with that one. All the stuff we've thrown at him, I don't think that's going to be the one that ends up going in. But I guess you never know. Nice try. Good shot in the slot. Borgo has it again. Spins around. Yup. I like it. We just got bullied. Yeah, right, McDavid. You are not scoring. Someone else on your team might, but I refuse to allow you to score. Help him out. Nice. Kane had a good chance there. He could have ripped a backhand, but no. Defense was all over him. Drake Batherson is in now. Spins around. Gives it to Jimmy. I don't like this at all. Get there, 3-7. Don't glitch out on me like that. All right? Get a hold of yourself. And let's win a hockey game here. Nice pass. Yeah? Ratcliffe has it. Goes behind the net. Holloway right in the slot. Can't get the shot off. Pool party manages to keep the attack going here, though. I love it. Ratcliffe again. Back to the point, maybe? Nah, that's unfortunate. Nope. Blocker save. They have another chance here, though. Stutzla in the slot. Great defense. Love it. Playing so well right now. We really are. Honestly, both teams are playing really good. Both squads came out flying in the first, and now it is... Still even Steven here in the second. A minute to go. I would say that we've had more chances for sure. But I feel like, you know, the Sens have had a fair amount of chances as well. All right, all I'm going to say is please no game seven overtime. I don't think my achy breaky heart could handle it. Marner, let's go. Great battle. Brandstrom does ultimately come out with it though. Shabbat exits the Sens zone. But no! Laffy! Come on! No! What a save! I did not believe in the play at first. I'm like, why did he pass that? But then the give and go was there. And it kind of worked. Swayman read them like an absolute book, though. He's checked that one out from the library before. I just can't believe this guy. 
Swayman almost just did the dumbest thing of all time. And I would have been extremely grateful for that. What a save! Get out of here, ADB. He's got it still. Another great save. Thank you for getting that out. That's a knee on knee, it felt like. I don't know about that one, Chief. Don't let them get this. Okay, they got it. <laughs> Alexiak, that's going to be up high and directed aside. Sandheim battling with McDavid. Nice. All right, it is finally out of the zone. But not for long because they are right back. Great defense, Holloway. I take it back. What are we doing? What's with McDavid's beard there? Um, wow. Another save. I'm passing it out. We got it. I actually don't believe it. No, nope, you're lying to me. We have five minutes to get a goal. Or else that is going to be the one that decides the Stanley Cup. It can't be. Oh my word, the Sens are just playing a game of keep away right now and we can't even touch the puck. Here we go. Save it and maybe make another save here. Nope, not necessary. Xavier carrying it up. I'm speechless. Yeah, it's done, it's done. It is all but over. Oh, that is absolutely heartbreaking. It would be from me passing it out too, wouldn't it be? It just would. Of course it would. Playing with one hand right now. There you go. Get wrecked. Yep, get wrecked again. All I need is the analog. Nothing else. You guys suck. I can't believe it! We just lost the Stanley Cup to that. And to Connor McDavid as well. Just absolute... Uh, tragedy. That's all. That's the only word I can think of. Honestly, Swayman, respect. You played insane. Con Smythe goes to ADB, checks out. He was an absolute animal in this series. I don't want to watch the Cubs celebration. Come on. Don't do this to me. I guess we got to at least see Connor lifted up. All right, fine. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road here. Is Batman in the game or is it just some rando? Yeah, it's just a rando. Oh, it's Brady. Connor's not even the captain. I can yeah, I guess that makes sense. There you go. Unbelievable. Well, I'll cut to you guys when McDavid lifts it. I don't even think they... They picked McDavid to lift it. Guy's giving it to Shabbat. Fair enough, I guess. I'm not sure that McDavid's gonna get a chance with the cup. Choose McDavid. Choose him. There you have it. Your Stanley Cup champions. McDavid didn't get a chance with the cup. That is kind of hilarious. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? I can believe it. 100%. That is the most me thing to happen of all time. Oh, it shows their name on the cup and everything. That Wow, they went all in. Connor McDavid, there it is. Colin Miller, that's threes. From a former Be A Pro. Jimmy Superstar, yeah. Okay. Well, I've had just about enough of this. No? Can I not skip it? I sure can. An L in game set. I don't want to talk to you right now. James, hey, zip it. This is really not what I need right now. The Syracuse Crunch with the Calder. And we already know the Stanley. Oh, we know. The awards. Did I win something? You didn't say anything about an award. Oh, the Calder. But of course. D did I win it? Is that what it's saying? I think so. This is actually hilarious. I <laughs> what? the Calder. Bro, get out of here with these meetings. Oh, we're still in Edmonton. I guess our contract was longer than I thought. Well, I don't know. That might be it for this be a pro. I'm still unsure whether or not I want to try another season. What an absolute heartbreak. But it's just, you know, I am not that surprised. Ah, well, hopefully at least that was entertaining and maybe, you know, my suffering is <laughs> entertainment to you, so yeah.
That's all I can ask for at the end of the day. If this is the end of our run with Timothy Jimothy on NHL 23, then I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting the series, watching the videos, you know, leaving comments for me to put in the next video, stuff like that. Really appreciate it. And yeah, just thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and look at the awards real quick. I will do that. So here's the team trophies. Boom. Ottawa absolutely dummied Matthews on the Islanders. That's They got revenge for John Tavares, I guess. McDavid, of course. Dahleen, ADB. And the <laughs> Calder goes to TJ. Consmyth, Debrinkat, Ottinger gets the Jennings and the Vesna. And there you go. Let's just have a quick look at the lines here to see, you know, what we would potentially have. And wow, holy crap. Brad got up to an 86 somehow. We have Cooch, 94. Nico. Laffy Taffy's on the second line. Holy smokes. Defensively, it's, you know, kind of the same, basically. And Annette Carell. So we actually have a backup now. 95 overall. All right, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.